Hey everyone, welcome back to West and D Land and Sea. We're in Quartzsite, Arizona. We're here for Hamfest. If you want to see all the hows and the winds and the horrible things that happened on the way here, stay tuned for this multi part episode on our one week at Hamfest. On the road we're going on a trip without the kids um, down through the through California to the bottom and if you recognize the date you know where we're headed we are stopped right now in Lamar in uh, the five no, I, and 198 uh, corner of we just stopped at the Arco here got some more gas and Wes is gonna make some toasties. I'm hungry. Yeah, we hungry. <laughs> we didn't eat. We uh, got on the road about 9 a.m. It's 1.30 now. And all we've done is stop for gas. So we're gonna take a little time, eat some grilled sandwiches, and then uh, let his back rest a bit. I'm getting over a strange bout of who knows what? Who knows what? I thought it was Noro, but it's clearing up too fast to be Noro. Um, thanks, kids. And uh, then we're back on the road, and we're probably going to camp tonight uh, on the grapevine. Top of the grapevine. Top of the grapevine. And after that, Arizona. of the grapevine um, and we're getting gas here because it's 4.79 a gallon uh, most places are like five six six and a half bucks a gallon um, don't move to California um, but this is one of the cheaper places so we're stopping here for the night we have been driving all day since like nine o'clock in the morning Wes's back is starting to hurt my hips are starting to hurt um, so our plan was to get to the top of the grapevine and spend the night up there for the night, uh, before doing a little hop, skip and a jump straight into Arizona. So if you haven't guessed by now, we're going to Hamfest. Uh, so we're driving from our house in NorCal to course, uh, Quartzsite. And, um, it's just Wes and I, 
um, the older kids have decided to babysit for us. So we didn't have to bring the camper. So we rebuilt the inside of the rig and uh, we're staying in it. So hopefully we can show you guys that. But right now we're getting gas. I'm feeling a million times better than I did this morning. So I'm not exactly sure it was Noro that the kids gave me. I think it was just like some random stomach bug. Um, because every symptom I woke up with this morning is gone now. I just feel kind of run down and dehydrated. Um, so I've been sipping Sprite and I've been sipping water and kind of taking it slow. I ate a toasty and that was all I could put in my stomach. day it is um, 802 this morning uh, so we got to the top of the grapevine uh, at four o'clock in the afternoon but I was still not feeling the best and Wes was exhausted and we were both in a lot of pain so we just used the bathroom didn't even have dinner crawled into bed watched a little YouTube on our phone and fell asleep uh, this morning we got up at five <laughs> and uh, got ourselves ready didn't even bother with breakfast really I think we both had a Danish that we bought at the Flying J and on the road we went um, so I tried to get some footage but our camera was dead uh, the battery had died and I didn't grab a freshie before we hit the road. I got some amazing pictures of the fog rolling in uh, and the cloud cover uh, over the mountain. And um, it was absolutely beautiful. And I posted all of that on our Instagram. Um, I still have some photos I'm gonna hang on to until this video comes out and I'll put them with the video. Um, right now, we've already made it through. <laughs> What's this phone's going off? We made it through LA, we hit the 10, and now we're on the 10, so we're at a gas station um, filling up the tank before we get back on the road again.
Sarah and Nate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Still raining. Yes. Been raining for most of our journey. Um, yesterday and today. Yeah, yesterday and today. Yes, it's time for Wiper Blades and yes, I know we need to build the, the marks. Yeah. Because there's the border crossing. Yeah. zoo here right now at this exit like everything is i oh it's crazy we made a beer stop a beer run beer run and b double e double r u n <laughs> here's our destination we're working on it it's a little it's a few miles out in the, in the playa yeah oh it feels good to be here <laughs> That's a hell of a journey. So you want to see all the rocks? Right in there. The rock and gem and mineral show. Hell yeah, count me in. Oh, you're stuck, buddy. Oh, no. Look at that. He's. Oh, he's dug in. And he's not happy. Oh, I see the sign. RV show that way. <laughs> You're like, I'm just trying to get through. <laughs>
arrived at our spot. We're waiting for the first member of our travel party to show back up so that uh, he can instruct us on where he wants us to park so we make room for everybody. Mm -hmm. So I guess we just sit here and wait. And then we'll park, we'll get settled in, we'll make something to eat. Because Wes is apparently super hungry. <laughs> He's cranky. <laughs> We're in the process of setting up when My antenna. the antenna that, that has made us so popular uh, came crashing down. And broke. So what happened? It, it bent itself in half on top of the uh, um, pop-up. On top of the pop-up. Show me what the damage was. So here is the what used to be the end of the antenna. Well, what used to go in here. It used to go just like that. Yeah. And then when it fell over, the spot that was drilled created a weak point. And it snapped. And, and it snapped off. Okay. And so now... I'm drilling a new hole. And now that we're in Hamfest, you're very quickly attempting to fix... A broken antenna. A broken antenna. Yeah, now that we're a quartz fest, I gotta do this. <laughs> Alright, so we got here, we started setting up. So we're here with a group. And the rest of everybody isn't here yet, except for Larry. So... We're set up here, and uh, we are in the process of setting up. We got the pop-up up, up, but we had to not only stake it down, but sandbag it, because the wind here is brutal. It's crazy. I'll warn you. <laughs> yep, and uh, the wind is part of what happened to the antenna. Yes. <laughs> it is. The base, because it is such a light base, it fell over. <laughs> We haven't even eaten yet. We haven't done nothing yet. We're yeah, just like. The antenna's fixed. I've got it drilled. I just got to re it. You got drilled. Okay, so it's not as tall as it once was. It's now like six inches shorter. Six inches shorter than what it was. Well, really. Four inches? Four inches, maybe. Because that's, that's, that's the distance that it broke. Yeah. This was all up inside. Heartbreaking. I bet all of these other people had issues with their antennas too oh, when they first got here. This is, this is not an uncommon thing for anyone to go through. <laughs> yeah. I just don't want to have to go so, through more big rocks. Yeah. So while he's doing that, I'm going to sit here and nibble and drink some wine. <coughs> and um, we'll finish getting set up in a bit. So this is day two of our trip because uh, it took us two days to get here. Um, and I believe everybody else is showing up tomorrow. So Larry was here first. We, he got here, I think yesterday or the day before we got here today. We, we got here just in time for opening ceremony and now we're frantically trying to set everything up. <laughs> I'll let you know what happens with the antenna. Yay. We need to put rocks on the base of the antenna so it doesn't flop any flop. Yeah, thank you so much for the uh, signal report. What's your temp there? We're at uh, 42 right now. I've got up to 47 today. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be that way for the next week. I mean, it almost looks like spring. Uh, but uh, what, what's going on in Nebraska? Well, we haven't been anywhere near there since about December. Right now, we're, we're, we've had a warmer temperature today for quite a while. We've been here about 28 degrees, and we're still warming right there. And of course, I'm not being over. Yeah, very good. Crazy weather, crazy weather. I mean, it got, I think it was 56 below zero here last week. Yeah, there was a place in northern Montana, wind chill of 76 below zero. Uh, just uh, wild conditions. And then to have this full week where it's going to be very spring-like. This is K7, Papa Nasa, Papa in Montana. November 6, Whiskey Whiskey Hotel. Uh, the Whiskey Whiskey Hotel uh, in the Suffolk. Come back. This is November 6th, Whiskey Whiskey Hotel in Arizona. Beautiful Arizona. Thank you so much for stopping by, Wes. This is Scott, and we are in uh, the Yellowstone Valley, Montana. Uh, altitude a little under 4,000 feet, and you're 5858 on that last transmission. The QSL? Roger, you are a 5'9 into Quartzsite, Arizona. 
Yeah, thank you so much. Are you live in California or Arizona? I live in California. I am currently down at Quartz Fest. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. There's a uh, ham festival. How busy is it? Oh, there is antennas for miles around here. <laughs> antennas for miles. So what's the program? Uh, how long are you down there? And uh, what's a typical day for you, real quick? Well, to, uh, we're going to be down here for the entire week. It's an all-week uh, event. Uh, everyone's camping out. Uh, a typical day will be three or four seminars a day and uh, probably a couple uh, antenna walk-arounds, solar walk-arounds, things like that. Nice. Uh, and any, uh, any of the uh, seminars that are like you're really looking forward to? Uh, looking for some, looking forward to some of the DX uh, stuff so I can get a better antenna, work on trying to get a better antenna and, and some of the stop the bleed and first aid stuff. Uh, nice, very good. Well, have fun down there. I uh, talked to a bunch of people that are uh, either there or on their way and kind of the same program. Get up, have a great breakfast, uh, learn about uh, the hobby and uh, talk to a lot of people that you may talk to in the air but not see in person and then uh, just be enticed by all the candy. Have fun. God bless, Wes. Rod, Roger, 73. 73. Two said, this is K7, Papa Nard, <laughs> in Montana. Montana. Coming in so that kilo, kilo cloud. Seven, yeah. uh, thank you all and the I'm coming 5'8 on him. Down. He's hitting me 5'9. The fog. <laughs> that squeal from your windshield wipers. It just sounded like it wanted to throw itself into the ditch. Well, I did actually. 